Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the binary numbering system. Uh, binary numbering system is essential to understand because it's the numbering system that is used by the computer. Everything in the computer is done using ones and zeros. All the data that's communicated, processed, and printed is all done using ones and zeros. Pretty amazing. So it's a numbering system we need to understand. Especially uh, we need to understand what an IP address is. And when you see an IP address, you're going to see ones and zeros, or maybe decimals. And we need to be able to convert back and forth, both from binary to decimal and decimal back to binary. So let's get started. Uh, this is a little bit about me. I've been about 12 years teaching A+, uh, CompTIA+, certified A+, and Network+, uh, Cisco CCNA, and certified as a Cisco instructor. Got a couple of degrees, AA, BA, and a master's in uh, educational technology. I enjoy teaching. Uh, let's get let's get going here. Objectives. Uh, I'm going to learn uh, and understand the 8-bit binary system as it's uh, used with the computer. We're going to be able to convert binary to decimal and decimal uh, back to binary using 8 bits. I uh, set up this little block here. Uh, you can see the first number over here, 128 to the far left and 1 to the far right. And this progresses from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and, 1, and 128. This is stepping up in a base 2 manner. So everything is doubling, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so forth. Now this, within the computer, uh, goes all the way to 64 bits. But fortunately, we only need to understand 8 bits. And that's what we're going to be using. Now down here, we have a binary number. We've got uh, four zeros, one, and then three zeros. Now how would you, how would you convert an 8-bit binary number to a decimal number? Well, we can use this little block up here as kind of a help. If we put all our zeros up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we put our 1 here, and then the next 3 for zeros, we'll have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, this 1 set gives us a value of 8. Everything else would be 0. So this value here is in the 8th place. So our, our decimal equivalent here would be 8. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 equals 8. And we've just converted our first binary number to a decimal. Let's do another one. Okay, here we have four zeros, a 1, a 0, a 1, a 0. Now again, we're going to put this up into our little block up here. And we'll have an 8 set this time and a 2 set. So all we have to do is bring down the 8, bring down the 2, add them together, and we get 10. So this binary number, 8-bit binary number, is equivalent to the decimal 10. You can see this isn't too hard to do. Let's do another one. Okay, now we got 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So we're going to have a 1 in place for the 100, 128. And again, we still have the 8 and the 2. So this time we bring down the 128, the 8 and the 2. We add all these together, and we get 138. So we've done another number. Okay, what do you say we convert back from decimal to binary? Well, before we do that, let's do one more. Now we have a 128, a 32 set, an 8, and a 2. So if we add all those together, we bring them all down, we get 128, 32, 8, and 2. If we add these two together, what do we get? 128, 32, 160, and then 8 and 2 is 10, so 170. Now let's try the decimal to binary. Start with the number 64. What would the number 64 in decimal look like in binary form? Well, we're going to have to put some zeros up here. We'll have a 1, a 0, 0, and the rest zeros. So the 64-bit is the only one we need to set, so this is our binary number. 0, 1, and then the rest zeros. That's not too hard. Let's try another one. How about 154? Hmm. Well, 154 up here, we're going to need the 128, so we're going to set it. Would we set the 64? Well, if we set 64, how much would that be? 64 and 128 is 192, so that would be too much. How about if we set the 32? Let's see, 128 and 32, that looks like about 160, so that'd be sell too much. So we need to set the 128 and the 16. What's that? Let's see, 128 and 16, 14 looks like 144, so we would also need 10 more, so 8 and 2 would be 10. So. That's our binary equivalent, 128, the, the 16, 
the 8 and the 2, 154. Let's do another one. Now, let's, this is our review. <laughs> In the review, uh, we went uh, binary to decimal, and we noticed if we set the 1 up here for the binary, we get 64. So that's our binary to decimal equivalent. If we go from decimal to binary, we can take our decimal number and try to figure out what a binary equivalent would be. Well, we don't have 129, but we have a 128. And then all we need to do is add the 1. So if we set the first and the last, we get a binary number of 1000001. That becomes our binary equivalent. So I have a, for evaluation, a binary quiz I'd like you to do. You can find that on the server. Also, uh, there should be a copy of it at ComputerRepairTrainingPlus.com that you should be able to find and complete. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time.